Hey, what's poppin', guys, goddesses, kings, queens? What the fuck is going on, YouTubers? I'm about to bring you the word of the day for March 24th, 2021. Have already meditated, set with my team. Let's talk. Let's give them something to talk about. The herb of the day is candula. Candula is good for money. It's good for legal problems. So if you have a court case coming up, burn you a red candle and put some candula in it. If you want money, you can put candula in your grigri bags, mojo bags, however you want to call it. Also, you can sprinkle candula in your green candles or your gold candles. It's good for legal problems and money. The herb of the day is candula. Talk to me, spirit. Let's see what affirmations do you have for today. I am wealthy. You got to call in your money, law of attraction. You got to see money coming to you. Every time you use your debit card, credit card, spend cash, you have to call your money back and say, I am wealthy. I am prosperous. I am abundant. I am a self-made millionaire. I'm a self-made multimillionaire. However you want to see it. I am always receiving money. Money flows to me like a river. I am a money magnet. You have to see it. I call all my money back from the east, west, north, south, south, causing no harm to none. Once again, this card came out yesterday. I deserve R-E-S-P-E-C-T. You have to understand you deserve respect. If you don't respect yourself, People are not going to respect you. Start standing up for what you believe in. Start voicing your throat chakra. I am prosperous. I am wealthy. I am prosperous. I am abundant. So this must be money's coming to y'all. I am what? Oh, I am good enough. I don't feel like putting my glasses on. I am good enough. Yes, you are. You worth every fucking penny. Stop lowering your price tags for these low vibrational people. Remember to put your crown back on and stand up for yourself. You come from royalty. You are a king and a queen. Can I get one? Can I get two more cards for the overall energy today? That's too many. Okay, I'll take these. I'm going to put them on because I can't see. Something is brewing and about to begin. Trust, believe, and be open. You have to be open to receive. You have to be open to receive. You have to have faith. Anytime you manifest, there's no room for doubt. There is no room for doubt. If you ask them for this love, if you ask them for this promotion, if you ask them for this loan to go through, you have to be open to receive. So let me break it down to you in a religious factor. Faith. Faith. Is the substance faith you have to have faith as a, as a grain of mustard seed so you have to be open to receive let the past die so that you may live like I said the past is gone you can't bring the past back you're gonna remember the past and sometimes the past can come back and haunt you but you have to detach yourself from the past so you can move in this present mute uh, a moment and embrace the future remember the past give you an open book as a present to change your future. So you have to let your past because it's haunting you. Because you mentally think you're attached to it and you're not. You're not. That's not your mental happiness. That's not your happiness. Your body will benefit from healthier eating habits and drinking tea. Spirit is saying my earth angels, especially my earth angels, you are earth. So you need to contribute herbs and tease into your body some of y'all are having a lot of anxiety you need cam uh, you need chamomile mixed with lavender tea or go get some lavender tea and that's going to help you also peppermints when you having those ascension headaches peppermint tea will also help you or rub some peppermint get a cotton ball dip it in peppermint smell it or rub it with coconut oil or almond oil and rub it on your temples that's going to help ease you remember god made herbs to help heal you pharmaceutical is just is you can mix if you have a real bad headache you can mix pharmaceutical with herbs herbs is food but majority of time your body is going to react better to herbs and teas 
It is time to heal my invisible false lines that I'm broke. It is time to heal my invisible fault lines that run through you, your ancestors. That means healing your ancestor align. Once you heal your ancestors, because like I said, it's in your DNA. Whatever they went through and they started having children and their children having children and their children having children. And then when it finally came down to you, it's in your DNA. I'm sorry to say this, but you carry the burdens of your ancestors. Even if you don't know them, you have to heal that so you can heal your life, your family, your finances. It's very important to heal that. Can I get three cards? You have the raven card, you have the answer card, and you have the direction card. The raven is a messenger from the underworld. It can be from any ancient ancestor, any gods, goddesses, deities, any spiritual ancestors, any ancestors. It could be from your spirit guides too. They are messenger. You are full of mystery and the magic. The spirit of the raven travels with you. Also, if you're asking for a sign, if you see ravens, that's a sign. If you see a blue jay, a cardinal, butterflies, whatever, it's a sign. Answer. Answer the call when opportunity rings. Take a leap of faith. Sometimes, like I said, you got to be careful when you all alone or you in a public place and you know damn well don't nobody know you and you hear your name called. Sometimes that can be a trickster spirit. I was always taught not to answer the call because it'd be a trickster spirit. For example, everybody's like, why I ain't going to answer the call? Are you going to turn around and say, here I am, and there's nobody around you, and, and you hear your name called? Come on, really? You know, they are trickster spirits. How you know, when I was getting Reiki done, Lilith came to me and whispered in my ear. She called me, she said, Sandrea. And I said, telepathy. Who is this? This is what I said. I didn't say, here I am. And she said, Lilith. I'm like, what the fuck you want? You know, because she kept calling my name. So I was like, who is this? In my head. And she said, Lilith. I was like, what the fuck you want? She's like, it's time. I said, if this is truly you, because I don't know who Lilith is at the time. I did not know who Lilith is. I said, give me a sign. I'm not going to I'm not gonna turn over nothing. I'm not going to come to you. I'm not going to acknowledge you. I'm not going to welcome you. I need to know. Okay, she showed me in my mind's eye who she was. I started Googling her up. I said, hell no, I'm not fucking with her. Because when you Google, you only get the bad things of her. So I was in, in my room meditating. She came back again. She said, Sandrea. I didn't say nothing. She said, this is Lilith. I said, if this is you, send me somebody. Because I'm not falling for this. No, I, I read things about you. And she said, everything you read is not true. You have to experience for yourself. I said, then send me somebody. So she sent me somebody that taught me the other side of Lilith. And then once I started getting to know her, Lilith taught me. So be careful. Don't just say, here I am. You can say, who is this? You're not saying, here I am, come and get me. You know, like, who is this? You have to acknowledge who it is. So I don't want to confuse you. Just don't say, here I am. You need to say, who is this? Show me in your mind's eye. Give me proof. I'm not going to follow for this. Give me your name. Show me what you look like. Also, the direction. Sometimes life takes unexpected turns to lead you in the right direction. Sometimes something traumatic happens to you. Sometimes you have to lose a parent, a grandparent. Sometimes you have to get your soul snatched by somebody you love for you to get on the right track. Sometimes they have to. My personal opinion, I came across death so many times. Did be six years this year that I died, not brain dead, and they brought me back for them to get me on my right track. Because I've been this way since I was born, but really came into it when I was five. You know, and I kept saying, I'm not going to do this. So people, gods, goddesses, kings, queens, you have to go to. If I didn't come into minds and step out on there, you wouldn't be listening to me now. I wouldn't be mentoring y'all. Y'all have to step out in faith because there's people that need you. 
There's people that really need you, so you have to step out on that faith. Let's get into the word of the day. You have to step out on faith. It's not going to be easy, but you have to. This is your second chance, and I'm hearing. This is your second chance. As I'm flipping the cards over, you have the Seven of Cups, and you have the Nine of Pentacles. Some of y'all are... Are reaping benefits now. Some of y'all are starting to see money come in and you're starting to spend freely. Y'all starting to get comfortable with your life. You still got to go because you want you one coin left them getting that ten of cups. A lot of y'all are starting to see that your things are manifesting. That anytime you call your money back, it comes. Anytime you manifest and you say you want something, you get it. Anytime you start thinking stuff, so you really have to be careful with your words, the way you think, and the way you manifest speak. Y'all starting to see that it's starting to come true. Remember, when you call your money back, sometimes it can be $5, sometimes it can be $0.50. Cent. It doesn't matter. Always show gratitude. When you start showing gratitude, that's when you're going to get the bigger thing. Talk to me, spirit. Can I get two more cards, Spirit? Thank you. At the bottom of the deck, you have the Eight of Swords. Some of y'all still holding yourself hostage. Some of y'all still want to be attached to the past. And y'all wonder why y'all not moving forward. He's not for you. She's not for you. He's not coming back. She's not coming back. Move on. Take the time to heal and appreciate you. Appreciate what you want, how you want to be treated to. Treat yourself to something nice. He or she is not coming back. If you get fired, the, your spirits want you to move into a whole new different direction. It's time for you to step out of that. Illusion of entanglement because y'all still attach to the past. Y'all think that's your happiness and that's not your happiness. A lack of self-confidence to make you feel helpless. Being afraid to take action, take responsibility for your life now. You have to get out of that eight of swords. You have to walk through that gate. You tell them to open the doors and close doors for them. When they close them, they close them. And they meant for you to go through that door. You have the sun card, a time for great joy and success. Brilliant empathies that lead to magical opportunities. Plans to work out perfectly. Gratitude to the divine. Anything that you're asking for, money, abundance, love. This is your time to shine. This is your happy new year. Feliz Años Nuevo. This is spring. So your plants, the seeds that you planted in 2020, good and bad, are going to harvest in 2021. So if you planted a lot of bad seeds, you're going to reap them this year. If you planted a lot of good seeds, you're going to reap them this year. You have the two of cups. Falling in love with you, falling in love with the Holy Trinity, falling in love with that someone special, your soulmate, your twin flame soulmate. You don't want your twin flame. You want your twin flame soulmate. You want your demigod and demigoddess. Fall in love or uh, falling in love with someone of a romantic relationship. Forgiveness and ending of challenges. Exchanging gifts. Don't give up on people you love. You don't want to give up on people you love. You want to heal first. When you properly heal yourself, you will be able to heal others. Remember I said two sick people can't tell one another how to get healed. One's going to have to take the incentive to stand up and heal. Two blind people can't tell somebody there's a hole in the street because both of y'all can't see where y'all going. Y'all got too much burden. Somebody's really going to have to take the step. And heal yourself so you can see, so you can tell the other person, I went down this road. Trust me, this is not a good sign. I've been, I'm seeing the signs. You know what I'm saying? Just like an alcoholic that went through triple, not triple A, AA meetings and got help will understand the signs of another alcoholic or another druggie. And then he say, my brother, my sister, this is not good. I've been there. This is my testimony. I can overcome. You can overcome. It's the matter of the mind. The mind is very powerful. You can quit anything you want if you have that determination. Right next to the Two of Cups, 
You these are positive. You have the sun, you have the two of cups, and you have the ten of cups. Happy marriage, happy relationship, happy life, happy job, happy business, happily ever after, emotional contentment, a loving relationship with you and your children, raising children wisely and successfully, people you can trust. When you get rid of these low vibrational people and change the way you smell, your vibration, you're going to start attracting people that speak your language. Y'all speak spirituality. Y'all think spirituality. Y'all can share spirituality tips. You can start, you start attracting more vibrational people that's on your level. Each one, teach one. Y'all be able to teach each other and help each other. That is what I'm hearing. Spirit is saying, that's what it's supposed to do. How it's supposed to be. Sorry. Like I said, this is my bad month for sinuses. The pollen here where I live is very high. So, if I sound congested, I am healing. I am taking bee pollen. I am taking Benadryl. I'm drinking tea. I'm drinking water. I'm drinking my sea moss and bladder wax. I am healing. I hate allergies, though. Let's see. Let's get into some more. What else do they need to know? Someone right now just met a gentleman. Spirit is saying he's unfaithful. That's why he's like, dang, I haven't heard from him. He's like, dang, babe, I'm tired. I work nights. Okay? He's, he might work nights. That is true. But he works where you work 12-hour days. So it's like you work three and off three. He's being unfaithful to you. He's lying. And deep down inside, you know this person. You're like, something's not right. My intuition off. I think he's playing on me. He is being unfaithful to you. You are going to start this one. They're going to snatch him from you because it's time for you to start your spiritual journey. They have warned you and warned you and warned you. You keep attracting the same type of females. You keep attracting the same type of men. It's because you're not changing your vibration, and that's what you smell like. You smell like bullshit, and that's what you're going to attract. But this relationship is going to snatch your soul. I'm picking up. This is a twin flame, and it's going to start you on your uh, spiritual journey. What other messages do you have? What other messages? Some of y'all are starting to do social media, like uh, Instagram, going live, posting spirituality stuff. Some of y'all go on Facebook. Y'all getting brave enough to do card readings on Facebook or whatever. Some of y'all soon going to be starting your own uh, YouTube channel um, and uh, TikTok, I'm hearing, and Twitter. Just your social life is about to boast up. You're going to have an enjoyable, busy social life. You're going to get public recognition because people are saying, damn, she's the shit, he's the shit. Step out. Some of y'all, like I said, you had the sun card, you had the two of cups, and you had the ten of cups. That's general prosperity. Some of y'all are going to get that peaceful home life. This is the ace of clubs. This is confirmation of the two of cups and the ten of cups. Y'all going to get prosperity, general prosperity, and a peaceful home life. What other messages do you have for them? I guess I'm not going to get any more. There we go. Once again, under the Ten of Cups, you got plenty of money. This is a Ten of Diamonds. This is marrying into money. I'm not saying they might be like, um, I don't know, Bill Gates rich. But they're going to have money where y'all can travel when y'all please. If y'all finally want to take your kids to Disney World, y'all can. Um, this person, if you don't have children, this person don't have children. I'm hearing y'all going to have several children. I'm hearing three to four. If you don't, y'all gonna if you have children and he have children, y'all gonna have a whole bunch of children. You're gonna get the house you want. You're gonna get everything. Somebody want a house with a um built-in pool, you're gonna get that. You're gonna be marrying into plenty of money. Spirit is saying this is not how the motherfuckers that you used to date in the past. This is not gonna be her. This is not gonna be him. Gentlemen, also you can marry into woman. Uh not yeah, you can marry a woman. That's not what I meant. You can marry into money, too. It doesn't mean just because the ladies can meet a man. You can marry a woman that has money that don't give a fuck. I'm telling you, this person don't like attention draw to them. You're not going to know this person have money. This person is moves in silence. 
Some of y'all need to learn from some of these motherfuckers that move in silence because sometimes y'all bump y'all gums too much and you know you fucked up, right? Because you're talking too fucking much. Sometimes y'all need to shut the fuck up and move in silence. This person that y'all going to meet, he or she, is going to have money. They're going to have their business. They're going to move in silence. You're not even going to know. You're going to think this is a plain Joe, plain Jane. No, it's not. This person has money. Y'all going to have several children. What other messages do you have for them? Ancestors, spirit guides. Some of y'all got a lot of jealousy going on because y'all finally stepping out there into y'all spiritual uh, growth. Some of y'all are elevating more, higher than the people that y'all with in y'all so-called tribe. A lot of y'all got family members that's jealous of you. Some of y'all married to a spouse that's fucking jealous of you because you be like, they saying, damn, you really don't need me. What do you need me for? You know what I'm saying? They very jealous. A lot of y'all are in these social groups. And you commenting how spirit did this, your ancestors did this, you did this. You're talking too fucking much and you're making enemies. A lot of people are jealous of you. And also spirit is saying a lot of y'all are always catering to people and your ancestors and stuff saying, no, it's not a fair energy exchange. So you stop doing for them and they get mad because you've always, always, always fed them. Like I said, you keep fucking with dogs with fleas, you're going to get fleas. And now you're starting to see that they were not your friends and your enemies. A lot of them are taken from you energetically. Stop buying from everybody. Ask your ancestors, it's okay for you to purchase stuff from people because like I said, people that you don't know and you see them, them they're very powerful. You need to ask because sometimes people can enchant their shit and put entities on shit and they come over there and fuck you over. You have to ask your ancestors and your spirit guides, is it okay to purchase from this individual? A lot of y'all are in the, and this is your season because I said in 2020, you planted a lot of seeds. Those that planted a lot of good seeds, you about to reap your benefit. You about to see how juicy your fruit is. You about to step into your sex, success and prosperity. And yeah, some of y'all going to get sex, but you about to step into your prosperity and your success. What are the messages? Somebody is, um, has a relationship and you live with your boyfriend and their boys are always coming over. This boy sort of got the hots for you. He always talks slick when his friend is not in the room and you be like, I don't know if I should show, tell my boyfriend this because I don't want them fighting. He's going to come in between you and him. He's going to try to break you up because he has the hots for you. Then someone is talking to somebody on your job and he's very friendly. It says a man you working with is going to make things right for you. He's going to open doors. He's going to introduce people to you. A woman is becoming between you and your beloved. Like I said, this is also, this is someone else. Uh, some females, you tell your best friend every fucking thing. Sexual, how this, and you just don't know this person is not your friend. They was always jealous of you in the beginning, but they just didn't show it. They hid behind the mask. They're going to start telling your business if they come to you talking about somebody they're going to go to somebody talking about you what other messages do you have there's a lot of people that you cannot trust so you got to ask your ancestors and your spirit guides who's your friend and foe be careful in your business meet dealings for the next few days because be careful what you sign spirit is saying don't jump too close to it don't jump to it quick because you see dollar signs, read the fine print, and ask them could they give you three days to think about it. In those three days, you need to fast and pray and meditate and see if this is for you. Because sometimes when you jump with the first one, a bigger one comes. So don't be so quick. Someone is going to start doing pop-up shops or whatever. You want to start doing this. Some of them are scandals, hustlers, spirit of sin, start. Y'all really need to start using your intuition. A scandal is going to be very barely escaped. You're going to give somebody some money. And then when you go there and it's going to be an empty building and they just took your money. Stop doing that. If you haven't met that person in person and you actually seen that, I'll be careful of these pop-up shops you do online. A lot of y'all, once again, the fake, the fear in the foe card came up. A false friend. Beware. Be cheerful no matter what happens. Spirit is saying, even if you're having a bad, fucked up day, think of something positive. Think of something that'll make you laugh. Watch uh, some type of funny comedian joke or whatever to take your mind off the situation. You have to change that vibration. Don't leave no room for anything negative to come. 
Do not leave room for anything negative to come. You have to reverse that shit. You have the power to reverse it. What other messages? This person, this, this guy, you live with your boyfriend and this guy likes you. Like I say, he hit on you. He says little things. He say you fine and whatever. He's trying to set y'all up. He's going to lie and say that he caught you cheating so he can break y'all up so he can step in. Be careful. Loyalty. Find who's loyal to you. You cannot be loyal to everybody because everybody's not going to be loyal to you. Miscommunication. Spirit is saying a lot of arguments happen because there's no communication. A lot of relationships are ending and dying and because there's no communicating. You have to learn to communicate. Voice that throat chakra. Stop settling for everything. I keep hearing. Quit lowering your price tags. You know, if you say you 50000 then you 50000 If someone truly wants you, they will pay you 60000 I'm not selling you out, but I'm just saying... Be who you are. If you don't tolerate certain things, then say, I don't tolerate that shit. Don't change it for him. You stick to your gun. Stop being so vulnerable. When you're vulnerable, you're leaving um, things open for negativity to get you. You know, little, little attachments to get you. You have to stay strong. Close your portals day and night. Remember to love yourself. Love conquers all. Kill them with kindness. You know what I'm saying? Pick your fights. Walk away from them narcissists. People look stupid arguing by themselves. Try to avoid things that does not resonate with your higher good. If you constantly talk, someone calling you gossiping and gossiping and gossiping, that's leaving room for attachment. Just say, you know what? Mm -mm. I don't need this right now. Say, let me call you back. I'm kind of tired. Or, you know, I got to do something. Let me call you back. Get out of that and continue to have unconditional love. Love yourself and others, like I said, without limits and condition and expectation. Love them even if they don't give it back. Okay, just plant that seed. Like I said, your job is to plant that seed. It's up to them to let it grow or die. If they don't want it, it's going to come right back to you triple. Most of all, just love yourself. Start putting yourself first. Y'all be blessed. Namaste. I see you.